Hey guys, Antrim here, and welcome back to another Minecraft video. And today, I'm going to be showing you guys a website called minecraftcommand.science. Yes, that is the actual URL of the website. So, have you ever wanted to create a custom command within Minecraft, and you didn't want to have to manually have to type in all of, like, your amplifiers and all of everything for any custom items you wanted? Or did you want to have the ability to generate custom potions or custom tools, custom armor, custom items, custom heads, villager shops, command signs? Uh, so many other things, pre-filled chests, block generators, uh, skin fetchers, armor color generator. Have you ever just wanted a tool that allowed you to make all of that easily? Well, this is the website for you. So what this website is all about is Minecraft Command Science. So again, everything that I listed there is on this website. You can sign up an account and if you create your own, then you can actually save them for later tinkering. Or you can actually check out the newest commands that have that people have made and you can also check out the top commands as well. Now the majority of the commands that are on here are 1.8 only just because that was the version that was out for the longest time. But I'm pretty sure that you can generate commands, at least some of them, that work in the later versions of Minecraft. But I would stick to 1.8 if things are kind of derping out for you. So anyways, uh, yeah, I listed pretty much every generator that this website has. But for the sake of saving time, I'm going to show you guys three of them very soon specifically. So I'm going to show you guys the potion generator, I'm going to show you guys the pre-filled chest generator, and I'm going to show you guys the armor color generator. But again, if you want to mess around with these for yourselves, there are the newest commands and top command sections where you can just check out other people's commands in case you want to mess around with them just for the fun of it. So say if I want to mess around with this guy's VIP uh, pickaxe here. Of course, there we go. So we can go ahead and we can just give ourselves this. And it's called the mythical pickaxe, I guess. And bam, all we need to do is just drop it into a command block and hit the button. We got a mythical pickaxe done okay efficiency 25 on breaking 15 fortune 20 and you can use the website to do different naming and different lores and whatnot and there's just so many things you can mess around with so again let's go ahead and let's check out the first thing here which is the potion generator so the big thing i wanted to note about this website and why i like it so much is that it has a graphical user interface so if you want to have a potion with a certain design then you can go ahead and you can do this here so i think this may actually give you a thrown potion if you chose a thrown potion option not 100 percent sure though maybe it's just the graphic but anyways let's go and let's name this like super poopy diggy potion because I'm actually gonna make it so that you can dig really fast but you get nauseous so you get all poopy so anyways I can actually put in various lore lines as well so lore one and you're a poop for the second line and then we can go ahead and we can scroll down and check out the different the different potion effects so I want to give myself haste I want to give myself haste of 10 for 10 seconds so not too too op because if i gave it to myself for like a billion seconds yay it's just another op potion but anyways then i'm gonna give you a negative effect which is nausea so you have to dig really fast while you are nauseous because why not it's a super poopy diggy potion so yeah Anyways, let's go and let's scroll down here, and for the last area, there are the various different ways you can give yourself this command. And this is what I really like as well. So you can just have a command that gives you the item, a command that summons the item into the air in case you want to move the location of where the item summons for like an adventure map or whatever purposes you have. Uh, there's the item display, which I guess maybe will display the item in the air or something, maybe in like an item frame, I'm not sure about that one. Um, but anyways, there's you can give yourself an entire stack, spawn a pre-filled chest that has nothing but the item in it, and then you can also give yourself a pre-filled chest. So the difference between these two is that this one allows you to set the block on the ground for the chest. And then this one just gives you the pre-filled chest in case you want to just kind of place it wherever. So I can go ahead and I can do that here actually and just give myself a chest of these super poopy potions. This one was just another one that I made as well. But if I go ahead and I change it up here, click this button here, place this down. You can see these are the super poopy potions. And I'm not actually sure if I'm going to drink this or if it's going to throw it. Okay, it does actually throw it. So bam. Now I have super poopy potion effect. Bam. So now I get haste. Well, eight seconds because it's not hitting me directly. Bam. There we go. That's 10 seconds. So if I go ahead and let's see here. Let me go ahead and let me give myself a shovel here. And what's cool is you can actually use the website to give yourselves really awesome custom items as well with the same sort of idea. So anyways, let's go ahead and let's go into game mode zero here. And bam. Let's go ahead and let's hit myself a super poopy potion. And bam. 
Yeah, we're digging. We are digging. We're digging because I diggy diggy hole. There we go. And when the haste and nausea actually run out, then of course I'm just going to be back to regular digging speed. I didn't mess around with the game or anything that allows me to just, you know, have that happening in the background. I'm not faking you guys out here. This is real Minecraft science, Minecraft command dot science. So yeah. Alright, so that's how the potion generator works. Now, as a good transition, actually, I'm going to show you guys the pre-filled chest generator. So while this gave me a pre-filled chest of just the same item, if you want to go ahead and give yourself a pre-filled chest with nothing but custom items in there, then you can do that as well. So this, again, is a really good example of how using a graphical user interface is really, really nice. So if I want to give myself a pre-filled chest with just random items in there, I can choose from any item in the game. Though some of them won't work, like if you put in, say, I think, like, a redstone block that is lit up or something like that, which is one of the options here, or, like, flowing lava, or things of that nature. I tried to put, like, raw tripwire or the, tri uh, the redstone wire in there. And uh, that's really weird. Like, you can do, you know, like, redstone dust, and that's fine. But any of the really weird items don't really work. But, say, let me just go and let me just click around so some of these random items. I can go ahead and I can do this here. And uh, let's go ahead and let's put a pressure plate in here. You can also mess with the quantity of the items that go in as well. You can go from 1 all the way up to 64, so that's super awesome. The only thing I would like to see with this is the ability to inject your custom items that you made earlier into this. But, you can't have everything in one package. But, hey. It gives you a good basis as to make other items or other, you know, commands off of. It allows you to learn these things and how they work. So anyways, if I want to set custom items for, or rather custom names for the chest, I can go ahead and I can do that as well. I can literally give the chest a lore as well. So, lore chest, just because why not lore chest 2 and then chest of crap items because I didn't actually put anything that good to it into it. And yeah, with this you can actually give yourself the chest or summon the chest the same way as before. So yeah, as we scroll down you can actually see the command here. While you can copy the command just like this, if you want to minify the command so that it's all on one line, you can go ahead and you can do that as well. But if you want to study the command, a good way to do it might be to use that expanded look at it. So anyways, we can go ahead and we can check out what I just made here. So let's go ahead and let's do that here by going back into game mode 1. Game mode 1 here, let's check this out. So bam, there we go. Let's go ahead and let's drop down this chest. And bam, this has the items that I just set up. It says, chest of crap items. It's actually named that when you open up the chest. That is fantastic. So, yeah. All right, and one last thing that I want to show you guys. Well, I'm going to show you guys two more things because they're both very, very simple. One of them is the armor color generator. And this is something that I would always opt to do with just typing in the command and trying to make it work and always having trouble with it. With the armor colorator generator or armor colorator. Wow. The armor color generator. All you got to do since you the only thing you can color is leather is you select a color. Hey, I want to be sort of sort of dark blue tealish. Okay, but a little bit dark done. That's it. You can give yourself the leather armor of this type here. So we can go ahead and we can do that here. We can just drop it in game. Okay, bam, done. That's it. Like, it's not, it's, it's not that complicated really at all. You know, there's nothing more that I need to say about it. So the very last thing that I'm going to show you guys is something that I just think is kind of neat. And that is the holographic text generator. It's not really even that complicated of a thing. But again, if you're typing it out with manual commands, it might be a little bit frustrating. So if you want the text to show up on screen to say, hey, I hope you, uh, well, not all, not a capital for each letter because this isn't a title. If you type that way on the internet when having conversation, I hate you and please stop doing it. So anyways, hey, I hope you enjoy my video. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Ha, there we go. So then we can go ahead and we can summon an armor stand that does that because it won't actually show the armor stand. It'll just make it holographic floating text. So bam. There we go. Hey, I hope you all enjoyed my video, and if you did, a like would be very much appreciated, and I hope you all have enjoyed. My name is Ant Venom, and I bid you all farewell, guys. Thanks so much for watching.